Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome to Thet Plays Oxygen Not Included. The expressive upgrade has been quite a few upgrades since I played Oxygen Not Included, but I asked you guys what you want to see next, and you said you wanted to see some Oxygen Not Included. Here it is. You, you may now thank me or whatever. Just keep watching. That's that's fine, too. Anyway, game's gone through quite a few upgrades since I last played it. Patch notes for this one, though, include new duplicate interactions and reactions, colony schedule management. Oh, man, both of those sound super exciting to me. Downtime and new leisure settings and new lore animations and sounds. Sounds like it's going to be fun on a bun. We're going to start a new colony because, uh, well, I don't even know if the old one would be compatible. What was the old one was... Back in February of 2018. That's this year, but still. Let's start a new one. Oh, we could do a custom game if we want. We're not gonna, but we could. Let's let that form. If you haven't played Oxygen Not Included or seen any videos on it, it's basically a col colony management simulation. Kind of like RimWorld, except in RimWorld, you're crash landed on a planet, or you're a tribe that's on a planet, and you're generally trying to leave or just survive. Here, you're on a you've teleported for some reason into an asteroid and you're trying to survive and maybe even leave I don't know if they've come to that in game yet or not but uh, let's let's do a couple shuffles here dude some of them have like purple skin I want one of those with the purple skin but I don't think you can actually get one with purple skin I'm pretty sure that's just the way that it loads but it does have me feeling excited this guy looks like he's got nothing to worry about I might have to pick him you seem a little lazy you know what let's, let's Shuffle you around a bit here. Now, I only need one music maker, please. You look like you're hyperventilating. I don't know if I want you in my in my starting colony here. You look like you're having a good time, though. I, you'll you'll work. And you you look like you're uh you look like you're ready to really rock something here. Although I, I don't know. We'll, we'll get to you in a minute. So we got a couple of new attributes that I haven't seen before. Kindness and ranching, for example. How quickly and efficiently they raise critters. That's pretty interesting. I love the idea. Raising critters. Some creativity, some farming, some learning. Uh, this person is narcoleptic. They'll fall asleep anywhere, anytime, any place. That could be dangerous. Don't get it wrong. Don't get it twisted either. Interior decorator. More creativity. Less indoor or decor perception. Huh. With high decor perception, don't require as much decor to keep up their morale. Oh, okay. Interesting. And research and cooking is to their interests. Interests are new to me as well. It means they research these and master these faster. That's pretty cool. Got a guy over here. He's also narcoleptic, but he's got mole hands, so he's really good at digging. He also likes digging and building and supplying. I like this guy already. And this one over here is flatulent. Alright. Also a night owl. Does their best work when they ought to be sleeping. Dude. Interested in supplying. What the heck is a supply job? I don't even know what that means. Also, stress reactions. Destructive. This person will uh, not repair buildings above 60% stress. That's interesting. They also take out their frustrations on machines. So, don't put you on repairs. Got it. You're an ugly crier. And you vomit when you're stressed out. Good to know. Good to know. All right, we should name these poor fools who are going to go and die a terrible, terrible death, most likely. So, how do we do something like that? I don't even know anymore. I haven't had to name people in a while because I've been lazy, mostly. All right, we can do this. There we go. There we go. We'll start with Vasilla. You got a builder and a digger. You know what? We'll start with Dismas. And then uh, got a supplier. He's flatulent. We can work with Volpe here. I think that'll work. That should be good stuff. This Nisbet likes to punch people to show her affection. Everyone's too afraid to tell her it hurts. Good to know. The si we can name the colony the Systematic Paradise. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. We'll call this, uh... I don't know. I'm not really good at naming colonies, if you couldn't tell. Gang! Hip Homestead Space Prison. Okay, so they're not, they're not good at naming them themselves either way, so I think we're going to be fine here. All right. The Hip Dump. I actually like that one. I actually do not 
just like that name. Sneezing Abode, pretty good. It's Temporal New Moon Base, the Space Paradise, the Perfect Ant Farm. All right, that one, that one's got it going on as well. I'm not gonna lie. Paradise, the Darkest League, dude. We could be our own Justice League, except darker apparently. System. I I'm pretty sure that's just the default. Like, it's not even a name. That's just like a default setting that they forgot to change. All right, that's that's cool. That that's pretty cool. We'll call this. Um, we'll call this the. Uh, I don't know. The Ragamuffin Colony. We'll start it very basic. We might rename it later. We'll see how it goes. Let's embark. And here we are with Vasilla, Dismas, and Volpe. I've awakened. Trapped inside an asteroid with a crew of three duplicates. Resources are scarce. I don't remember how we got here. I'll need the, to help the duplicates survive if we're going to find answers. So, what, am I like just a character who's outside of the realm of, of the actual physical world? Or what? What's going on here? Anyway. Let's see. Duplicates on the default schedule. Let's start their work block. I got a lot of things to look at here. First of all, we got to get toilets. That's going to come eventually after we do some digging. So we got digging and we got wrangling. Capture live critters. That's pretty great. Going to try to wrangle this boy. Can't wrangle it though. Harvest. Empty pipes. Oh, that's cool. That, that's a new order to me. Set errands sub priority. Duplicates will pick errands according to their priorities first and the sub priorities second. That is awesome. I love it. Sweeping, mopping, disinfecting, deconstructing. Attacking, canceling, all sounds great. We got overlays, yes we do. We got overlays, how about you? In case you want to know about anything that your colony's doing at pretty much any time, we'll deal with that. Oh my god, look at all these different types of rooms you can make. Oh, I'm gonna love it. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited right now, that's why I can't use words. We got 1600 nutrient bars in here to eat for now. So, 16,000 16, calories of food will feed us for a couple of days. Priorities. Mmm, baby. Increase, double increase. Okay. So, oh, you can increase priorities for new guys, too. That's awesome. That's amazing, and I love it. Right now, we'll, uh, we'll leave everyone unemployed and not give you any specific priorities until we get ourselves settled. But eventually, we're going to be rocking those out. Research, don't worry about it. Reports, don't worry about it yet. Vitals. Everyone is not dead. That's good. Consumables. Everyone may eat food. That's good. Nutrient bars. Cool. Quality, negative one. Mush bars, negative one. Lice loaf, zero. Berry sludge, three. And there's vitamins and placebos. All right. So first things first, we need to do some digging. So we have a lot of things that we need to worry about here. One is water. Gonna need that for plumbing. Another is a place to sleep. A place to eat. And materials. We actually don't have to have a specific room for eating yet. And we have to worry about oxygen as well. Right now, we got plenty of oxygen. Despite the name, the name is a lie. Oxygen was included. And we have this oxalite up here, which has given us a little bit of extra oxygen to start with as well. But we do want to start digging out a place for us to live. And I think four tiles wide is a decent start. So let's dig out a little bit of area here. And we'll get ready to put down some beds and stuff. And that's where we'll start. That'll also get us some materials to start with as well. Duplicate movement. Don't forget, duplicates can run around. I like how it's all in first person. Must be able to reach errands I set in order to do their work. It's good stuff. Basic controls. Yeah, I can do that. That's cool. And then colony management. They're self-motivated and will get work done around the colony without me managing them individually. They can... Oh, oh. What was that? Oh, jeez. Someone smelled a stinky. Use a dig tool to tell them to dig. Yeah, I get that. Once I place a few errands, they will automatically get to work. As you can see, we got some sandstone. We got some algae. Basic materials. It's all good and lovely and perfect. Possibly even with a little bit of professionalism. And they are printing a duplicate here in the printing pod. It'll take 2.4 cycles for us to get another one. But we probably won't bring on a fourth person right away. We're going to hold off on that. So now that... Dude, Golfy, stop. You're, you're interrupting our work here with the gas. 
So now that we have some materials here, we can start building some things. Like, I could make more tiling with the sandstone. Tiling? Oh, it's a hatch. He's wild, but he's happy. He's also hungry. So, hatches... has a 90% chance of laying eggs. Oh, wow, there's extra good hatchlings. Okay, so now we can look at the possibility of, you know, getting those going as well. That's interesting. He does eat resources, so I'm not a huge fan of him, but I like I like the fact that he's here. You can build ladders, storage capacitors, and stuff. Compactors, sorry. Did I say capacitors? I did. Let's throw down a few storage compactors here and start storing some of this stuff so that the hatch doesn't eat it all. Algae deoxidizers convert algae to oxygen. That's something we'll have to look into soon as well. Power, manual generator, wires, little bats. Batteries, I mean. Micro mushrooms to start making some food. Does require power. Dude, with the stink. And then outhouses, bottle emptiers, stuff like that. We are going to need a toilet. So the toilet should go in its own place because it's going to get stanky in there. So you got some chlorine over here. Got some hydrogen down here. Very interesting stuff. We got water right here. I'm thinking eventually I want to put a toilet around here and start using this water for that toilet. But that's a little bit down the line. We don't have that kind of a toilet yet. This is just an outhouse. Requires no piping. It'll be pre periodically emptied of polluted dirt. So I'm thinking what we're going to do with that, start us off, is dig a little area down here. When I say little, I mean it. We'll uh, open it up a bit. Throw down the digging tool. Something like that. And we'll shove an outhouse in there. All right, now these can pick up everything. So while Basilla gets to work on making our ladder, Balfi and Dismas will go ahead and get to work on filling up these storage capacitors. It'll look a little bit better. So while they're working, for, well, first of all, while they're looking, I it just clicked in my head how good this music is. And I want to listen to it now. We also have a wash basin. That's going to be required down here, so we might need to make this room a little bit bigger so that we have a place to wash our hands. What is this? We lack an apprentice miner required to mine out granite. Huh. Interesting. I don't know how to deal with that. Useful as a construction material. Jobs. Okay, an apprentice miner. Becoming an apprentice architect marginally improves the duplicate construction. Oh, that's architect. Okay. Improves training and the excavation of very firm materials such as granite. You can get promoted to miner. How do you? How do you give him a job? What? What is this? Well, we're also going to need cots for beds, so we're going to go ahead and just create three right away. Got to have a place to sleep. So she's working on that right now. She's got no oxygen down here because we're digging up this empty area, as you can see. There ain't no oxygen here yet. And I think that's that's fine for now because we're actually going to go ahead and tile this area up here soon and throw a door down there. And this is just going to be the poo room. I mean, it's going to be a wash basin, too. This does require a supply of water, so we're not going to be able to use it right away until we get... A supply of water. This one I'm not going to crack into anytime soon. Because I'm probably going to want to build stuff down here. But we'll see. But we're going to have to have a wash basin here. And then our freaking toilet. Somewhere over here. There you go. And we also have a research station we can build eventually. That's going to require power. And it's fine. Perfectly fine that it requires power. There we go. We have three beds. You can assign them yourselves. I ain't even dealing with that. Dismas. Give him a new name. No database entry available. He's made out of genetic ooze. Enter the jobs panel to view available jobs. Oh, we don't have a jobs panel yet, though. We gotta get a jobs board to unlock, which is found in the stations tab. But it requires adv advanced research research. Okay. 
So we need to get a research station going then, basically, is what you're trying to tell me. All right, we have a place to do our business here in this outhouse. I'm actually going to go ahead and dig over here as well, because I can make a place to get some fertilization going, a compost place eventually. Got to learn basic farming first, but we can get that done someday. Let's go ahead and dig down here. Open this up. This is all oxygen, so we'll have plenty of oxygen scooting around in our base for now. Especially with the oxalite that we have. Okay, look. With the gas. Do I need to separate you? Do I need, Does Volpe need to work in her own... Does she need to wear a hazmat suit that filters the stuff out? I feel like that will be easier than giving everyone else hazmat suits. Hungry. Well, then eat some food. You know, we can make schedules now. How does that even work? Enable proximity. Always perform the closest high priority errand to perform. Interesting. I mean, this is all interesting. I love it. Fetching water. Yeah, I know. We need to... In order to carry li liquids from place to place, they'll need to, to bottle them for transport. So, I'm going to use this area over here to do that. Probably going to dig out a little bit over here so I can create a pump at the bottom. Get it going up here and basically, you can uproot, you know, uproot all these plants, basically. Yeah, that's, I just want to grab all these. In fact, if I hit deconstruct, won't it uproot them? No. Does not do it that way. That's all right. We'll get them taken care of. Apparently, we're harvesting some of these right away. Yeah, we got some muck root and a blossom seed. It's pretty great. But yeah, we're going to uproot all these, actually. There's no button for uprooting, huh? Interesting. Good to know. Actually, I think that doesn't the dig button. It's the dig button that you beautiful man, you. Okay, that one's already set up for... Okay. Yeah. Hey, they're having chit-chatting. Apparently, uh, they're not a fan of the ladder. What about what about the copper? Copper's good. We love copper. Yeah. What about the storage compactor? Not sure, says Vasilla. Let me take a look. Hey, check out this plant. What are you doing? You're socializing. Well, Dismas has left you in the dust. Baldy went to eat in the bathroom, which is probably appropriate... Considering the stink she keeps making. All right, you're just gonna you're just gonna socialize by yourself, huh? Yep, me IRL. It is nighttime, which means the hatch is awake. We should probably throw him somewhere else. Somebody capture him, please. Oh, I'm sorry, we lack a rancher. Never mind. Did, why did you? But there's a... You know what? I'm not even... not even going to deal with that right now. So we got our overlays. we got a farming overlay. I mean, you can see what's growing. What's not, for any reason. Germ overlay. You can see there's some germs in our colony now. we got some food poisoning to deal with. This is why we need to wash our hands. So that brings its own problem. I mean, we can disinfect this stuff. We're set to disinfect at uh, 10,000 germs, so we can handle this for the most part. It's just a problem. Needless to say. Did I just tell you to disinfect yourselves? <laughs> but no, this, this actually does need to be disinfected when you get a chance. Yeah, it's not, it's not fun. You can also look at the decor, which is actually garbage, although they like this light from this dude. Apparently the buff briar, bluff briars, these plants are attractive as well. Negative decor mostly over here due to all the crap on the ground, as you can see. Disinfecting is going on right now. Ventilation, we don't have any yet. Plumbing, we don't have any yet. Light, I mean this dude puts out light. Thermal cuff, comfort, I mean, we're retaining a little bit of heat right now. It's not too bad. Temperature's good though. Sexy, 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Unfortunately, I don't have something that allows me to ha see both Fahrenheit. What in the hell are you? 
and Celsius. Oh my god, you're uh, both adorable and disgusting. And your animation is so good. What are you? You could be domesticated. And you look amazing when you're happy. You eat mealwood, plants, balm lilies, you produce phosphorite. Ooh, and there's a glossy version. Dude, these things are cool. I know nothing about them, just that so they're cool. Okay, how are we doing on freaking slime lung right now? You're still covered in it. It looks like. Germs. Food poisoning germs on the surface. Yeah, we need them off the surface, please. This is why we need to wash our hands. So I wonder... Hmm. Maybe I can make some surface water first, because I, I want to try to avoid poisoning our water supply. <laughs> Who'd have thunk? If possible. So let's... Let's try this. We'll just go to there. We're going to open all this up. There we go. Don't want to dig out the oxalite yet. Dig all this out, and then we'll try to put a pump somewhere where we can still manage it. Hey, uh, dig this out, too. Just make it a little bit flatter. So we're going to need power. So we'll just plop down a manual generator right here for now. And don't worry, someday all this will move around somewhere else. Slap down some batteries. Plug everything in. You can throw wires under tiles, but we're not worried about that yet. There's something right here. Let's uh, dig that up, find out what it is. And we can speed things up as well, so I think it's about time to go, you know, two times speed here. Yeah, try not to get your uh, germs in the water, please. In fact, uh, can we get someone to disinfect this? No? Let's see, what are you doing? Picking up sandstone? That's good. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for doing that first. There we go. Getting all this stuff put up. We almost have power. So with a little bit of power... Oh, no. We don't need power for the pitcher pump, you dummy. That? Why? Why are you so dumb? Have you played this game before? Yes, actually, I have. And it was indeed a hoop. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Plan 7. We're going to put tiles down here. Okay. Good, it's still uninfected. We're going to tile down some area here. And, of course, make some space for the pitcher pump. Now, I know there's a button you can use to turn this sucker around, right? Actually, I don't think this has to turn. So this will just go here. That'll work for now. And these will get dug out to make room for that. Then we can get some water, put it in here, and learn to wash our hands. Yeah, when you're going left, wash your hands. That way you don't waste water washing your hands when you go into the bathroom. We've done it. We can now deconstruct this extra area. Okay, now we figured it out. We've got water. We've got some electricity. We're now going to get a research station going. We don't need anything else for medicine yet. Stress is at zero, as you can see in the top left. You can also see what cycle it is. Manage the schedule. Oh, my God. This is great. Oh, I'm going to play with that so hard later. Increase the speed. You can do a uh, red alert, which makes everyone ignore basic needs to do work. But first, we're going to set our research. Basic farming. Advanced research. Water cooler. Gathering place during leisure time. Jobs board. Supercomputer. Intermediate research. We're going to start with advanced research. That way I can tell people how to be better workers. Basically. I mean, that's the plan. We could also eventually use a micro musher, which would need to be connected to power as well, but... For right this second, I think we're okay without it. Vasilla, rocking the research. Thank you very much for your support. While they're doing, while she's doing that, I should say. Oh, never mind. She fell asleep. Narcolepsy. It's a hell of a drug. Anyway, we're gonna set down some tiling as well. Tiling 
Makes your base look better. Makes everyone feel a little bit more swooed. And eventually we'll get a ladder going up so that we can have it going up here as well. We need a... Let's see, it's... Downtime. Okay. So, there's downtime. There's work time. There's bath time. And there's bedtime. So... The start of the schedule is bedtime. I assume this is for everybody? Okay, I can make different sketch. Gotcha. Cool, cool, cool. Then up it's mainly work time, and then downtime, and then bedtime. Okay. And bedtime is like the night, the nighttime, of course. Very cool to know. I love it. But yeah, tiling will make our base look better, basically. Man, there's so many things to know. Let's take a look at the yesterday cycle. We ate food. We didn't replace any of it yet. That's fine. We're about 3,000 a day. So we should start getting ready to make food soon. Stress, down 109%. I'd say that's pretty stress-free. Germs, I mean, we got less today so far. But, you know, yesterday was pretty bad. Time breakdown. Oh, that's cool. Shows how much time they were spending on errands. Dude, the hatch and shine bug are considered part of our colony. I love it. Travel time, idle time, oxygen generation, going down. Power usage, up. Power wasted, a little bit. I understand this, I do. But we're getting research done now. And basically, you know, real life has started a little bit. You know, we're making stuff happen. And it's going fairly well. Next duplicate will appear in half a cycle. We're not ready for a fourth person yet, but we're, we're getting there. We're still not generating food. And if we're going to start generating food, we need to actually start growing some as well. So the best place to start, as far as I'm concerned, would be mealwood, because it's easiest to grow. But we haven't learned any farming yet, so we're going to have to wait on that. And now all we got is the micro musher, which we can use to turn literal dirt in the food. Not my idea of a good time, necessarily. Although, feel free to disagree. Scylla, rocking down some tiles. Dismas, keeping us powered. Volpe, doing some research. Taking a while to get that research done. Let's speed things up just a little bit more. I'm liking the tiling. I'm liking where we're starting here. Oxygen is dispersed fairly well throughout our base. We are starting to get some carbon dioxide down here. We really should dig out a different place for that stuff to go. And I'm thinking over here is probably ideal for now. So, what do you say we slap down a ladder over here? What are these? Uh, bristle blossoms? We can dig those up. Let's dig down to here. And we'll pick up these bristle blossoms and the mealwood. And we'll eat that mealwood. And it'll be delicious. Knock all this down. Give us a few places for our carbon dioxide to actually fall down into. Because we don't want the carbon dioxide to build up in the areas of the base where we live. Eventually, we can put down some versions of tiles that air can flow through, and that'll be perfect for carbon dioxide. Research is done. Volpe is thrilled. Apparently, Vasilla is like, congratulations. You done good. Let's learn... Probably not interior decor yet. Plumbing would be good, because we could get a liquid pump, but without sanitation, I don't think we're ready for that yet. Power regulation is not necessary yet. Basic farming, I think, is necessary. Algae terrariums to turn algae into carbon into oxygen, excuse me, and removes carbon dioxide. Compost to break, uh, well, compostables. Compostables? Really? That's how you say it? Polluted dirt in the dirt. Planter boxes to get seeds, or to make plants from seeds. Ration box. You know what? You'll figure it out when you see it. I can't explain things, okay? I'm an actual moron. Leave me alone. Alright, congratulations! Everyone's celebrating. We could get another duplicate right now. And I think I'm gonna do so, because, you know, we just throw down a microbe musher. I know we're not actually setting up rooms for these yet. That'll come in time, okay? Don't worry about it. Let's pick a new duplicate. We can choose between Ruby, Turner, and Ada. Well, Ruby's a yokel. Means he's not very good at research. If I'm not very good, I mean you can't do it. Diver's lungs, though, means they take up less oxygen, and that's really good. 
tidy, performs tidy, like cleaning jobs, cooking, operating. That would actually be perfect. You might be the easy choice here. You're anemic mouth breather with an iron gut. You will not get diarrhea, but you take up more oxygen. I think that's uh, good enough for me to say you're not a good choice. Ada, you cannot build, but you're good at tinkering and you like digging. I'm liking Ruby. Ruby seems like a 10 out of 10 here. This Ruby asks depressing questions like, where can I get a leather jacket in space? You are, you are cool, and I like you. I like where you're coming from. I like what you're saying. So, uh, I think I'm going to call you Fran. I'm going to print you out. No, no, you don't understand. Please, print. Welcome to the Ragamuffin Colony. Now, please, let's build you a bed. Oh, and a water cooler, too. Yeah, we can make a water cooler for uh, leisure time. I assume it takes water. Preferred room, recreation move. Room, excuse me. Improves morale. Improves decor. It doesn't take water. So it's literally just for looks. Well, we don't really have any rooms yet. So, recreation room. A, it requires no industrial machinery. And a recreational building. Cool. This is already considered a latrine. Latrine requires a toilet and a wash station. Well, there you go. Cool, it gives you a morale bonus. Most of these do. Med Bay gives you a quarantine for sick duplicates. Stress relief bonus for a massage clinic. Power plant for power production increase. Greenhouse. Dude, these are awesome. Anyway, we don't need a specific room for recreation yet, but we should go ahead and get us a water cooler. Give us something to hang out in, so I tell you what, tile up over here, like that, and then everything that's not tiled up, dig it out. We now can make mush bars, it's made out of dirt and water, beautiful combination, it's grizzly, has a chance of giving you diarrhea, as you would expect. Um, we can also make lice loaf out of meal lice and water, it takes less water to make lice loaf. So let's make a couple of lice loaves. I think we got some. No, we are missing. We do not have enough meal lice, so we'll just make some mush loaves for now. It's something. Look how excited they were that they could actually get food. We're actually very low on food in here? No, we're not. We have 12,000 kcal still. It looks like we're low, but that's because the game is playing tricks on me. Don't worry about it. It's a normal process. No germs in the water supply? No germs in the water supply. I love it. This colony's going great. We also have the job board. Unlocks hats. This is 10 out of 10. This is wonderful. This, this is everything I wanted in life. I can now give my dudes hats. <laughs> we'll uh, put that... I kind of want to put it over here. There you go. Eventually, we'll just put all this on the same level. But for now, I'm a little bit lazy to do that. We can also make a supercomputer for advanced research, but we'll do some of the basic researches first, and then we'll move on to that. But anyway, here we are at the Ragamuffin Colony with 4% stress. Who's feeling it? Fran's feeling it. Probably just because you're new. Basilla, socializing in the middle of the night. I'm not here to tell you what to do, okay? This Miss washing his hands after using the bathroom like a good boy. And everyone's going to bed. And that is going to be it for this first episode of Pet Plays. Oxygen not included. The expressive upgrade. I'm liking the interactions. I'm loving some of the new things. I can't wait to see the job board in action and give them all nice hats. We'll get, we're, we're, I'm too excited, basically. But thank you very much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving it a like if you haven't already. Feel free to subscribe for more. Till next time, folks. This was Pet Plays. Oxygen not included. The expressive upgrade. And I will see you in the next video. Look at that. Look at that germ number. Dropped like a rock. We're too good. We are too good. I won't be saying that 10 episodes from now, but for now, we're too good.